Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to ignore your current reality. This is a question that a lot of people get or have when manifesting, we hear that we're supposed to ignore our current reality when we are manifesting. So what do I think about this? What do I do? Do I ignore my current reality? That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Before I jump in, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel in the corner or below. Also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. There are 14 courses linked below. It can help you manifest anything you want. Okay, so let's talk about ignoring the current reality. This is a catchphrase. I'm not sure where it really came from, but there is the perception or some people have the perception that we're supposed to ignore the current reality when we are manifesting our desires. My opinion about this is it's not necessary to ignore the current reality. What's more necessary is to know that what you're affirming, knowing, visualizing, feeling within is the true reality. And in fact, when you know that what you're affirming, believing, uh, visualizing, manifesting within so if it's a specific person if you're feeling the two of you together you're enjoying the way that feels you're really relishing in the inner conversations you're having the inner experience of the two of you being together it feels it feels true it feels like it's going to be true it feels natural it feels like yeah of course this is going to happen if you're creating that sort of inner state within then there's absolutely no need to ignore the current reality because you're creating the inner knowing within and that's all you need to manifest your reality. So we don't have to pretend like something is not happening or is happening out there. We don't have to be delusional to what's happening in the 3D reality. We just have to cultivate the inner knowing so deeply that nothing that's happening out there bothers us anymore. So I talked about this in my recent video about how I manifested a million dollars. And what I talked about in that video was throughout the time of manifesting a million dollars, almost daily I could look at my bank account numbers and know that I was not yet a millionaire. Almost daily, even leading, like all the way leading up to being a millionaire, I could see in my 3D reality that I was not yet a millionaire. So I was not ignoring my current reality. I was seeing it. But the reason this didn't impact my manifestation and I still got what I wanted, which was to manifest a million dollars, the reason I still was able to do that was because internally, I knew I was going to be a millionaire. So the 3D reality did not knock me out of that inner belief that it was gonna happen. The 3D reality didn't make me doubt that it was gonna happen. The 3D reality didn't impact my inner knowing, my inner certainty that it was gonna happen. And so all this to say, what's going on in the 3D reality only matters if you let it impact you. If you let it make you feel like you can't get what you want, you let it make you feel like you're not having, you know, your desire isn't gonna be yours. That's the only way the 3D reality can impact us and, the, or, and can mess up the manifestation. And the reason it is, is because internally, that's what you're believing. So it's always gonna come back to what you believe internally. That's, that's the only thing that matters. And yes, your thoughts matter. Yes, your feelings matter. And that all is creating your beliefs of who you think you are and what you believe you have. Beliefs are always going to be the most powerful manifesting force that there is. Who you believe you are is who you are going to be in your reality. That's just the truth. And so we don't need to ignore our current reality. What we do need to do is just create a practice where we are resonating so deeply with the known belief that we already have our desire or that we will have our desire that when you look to the 3d reality nothing out there bothers you you will know that you're resonating that deeply with having your desire when you stop 
asking questions about the 3D or you stop looking to the 3D and think that it is messing up your manifestation, when you stop being bothered by the 3D reality, when you stop thinking that it's taking too long or it's not going to be here, any questions or concerns about your manifestation not coming means you aren't deeply, deeply, deeply saturated in the certainty that it is yours. And I'm not saying that the only way to manifest is to be certain that it is yours, but that's how I manifest. And the reason I manifest that way is it's a guaranteed done deal. If you become certain within that what you desire is yours or will be yours, if you create that inner certainty, inner certainty is a felt experience of this is going to be mine, whatever this is. If you're able to get into that inner certainty and you can revisit it over and over again, it is a done deal. You will manifest anything you want. So no need to ignore the 3D reality. Just create that deep inner certainty through your affirmations, through your visualizations, through your inner conversations, all of your manifesting techniques, create that deep inner certainty. And from that deep inner certainty, anything and everything can be yours. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I love being here with you. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like the video and you comment below. I'll see you soon. Bye.